becoming an intentional parent challenge day 16 focus on praising your child's efforts yes take your eyes away from the achievement and focus on effort now the the tricky thing about this is when a child puts in an effort it will reflect in the results simple truth so what you want to do is now praise the effort focus on the effort now the truth of the matter is many times um they, they, they make mistakes you know because they are human and the mistake may affect their results again because they are humans and as parents will come into the picture and what we want to do is to condemn the results the effort we don't see the effort because the effort didn't go as smoothly as we actually envisaged or as we wanted so no what you want to do in this day 16 is to focus on your child's effort now leave the result alone now focus on the effort does a child have the they put effort into whatever they are doing if the effort was there if the intentions were right and they have put in the right I mean, the right effort they they push themselves they apply themselves self just to get things done no matter the result praise the effort because you are focusing on effort and not the result it simply means that okay i may not have gotten it right this time i am going back to try again as long as my effort was acknowledged my effort was seen it simply means that if i put in more effort my effort still will be seen so it makes them resilient it gives it it helps them it nurtures the growth mindset in them it helps them become resilient so what you want to do is to focus on efforts and leave results for now action plan throughout the day look for opportunities to praise the child i always say that there are million and one reasons for us to actually jump into correct to condemn to judge to discipline and all of that but we almost never have reasons you know we just expect for example if there is something your child does that makes you want to um you consider it a misbehavior that makes you want to nag makes you want to yell now when your child does the opposite of it really don't take your eyes away from it acknowledge it yeah let me give you a practical example say your child's room is always messed up always messy and you always complain about it now the day you enter your child's room and the room is not messy the room is arranged then you are no longer complaining about it what do you do you praise their efforts because if it was a misbehavior if it was enough for you to complain it is always also enough for you to compliment so all through the day pay attention to opportunities to acknowledge your child to praise your child we said in the last challenge praising your child um build the growth mindsets yes it helps them build resilience even if they are not so perfect at what they have done at least they have done something and you praise them it helps them know that okay i have good traits in me it helps them know that okay there are things i am good enough you know it boosts their self-esteem i am good enough i have areas i am good at game plan is throughout the day look for opportunities to praise the child from waking up by themselves without you waking them up from going to have the bed by themselves just give them thumbs up high five um well done a pat on the shoulder and simple things you know just acknowledge not really praising like hey but it, it acknowledge that they are making progress acknowledge that yes they are taking initiative acknowledge that you are seeing them actually applying themselves more